Hey everybody, Hunter back again from Showtime Studios. Uh, I'm going to do the intro to the dusting technique that I've been um, uh, requested several times to uh, put on video and show everybody how I go about doing that process. So uh, this part of the video, we're just going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be using. And then the next part, which will be part two, we'll get into actually spraying the technique onto a body. And... Uh, It'll go pretty quick. It's a fairly simple procedure, but um, the things that we're going to be using, of course, uh, this cannot be done with a spray can. It has to be done with an airbrush. Uh, this happens to be my um, Grex uh, Tritium series. That's what it is. And this has a .3 needle in it right now. Uh, you can use a .3. You can use a finer needle if you want to. Um, but I like the .3 when I'm doing this for this particular airbrush. And I'm set at about uh, 10 pounds on the compressor uh, when we're doing this technique. So you'll need the airbrush. And the next thing that I use is uh, the 91% uh, rubbing alcohol. Uh, this comes from Walmart. I think it's like a dollar for uh, this jug here, which is uh, pretty inexpensive. Uh, I'll be using a pipette, just a plastic pipette. You can get these from, uh, actually I picked these up from Gravity Colors. Um, but you can get them in bulk from several different manufacturers. They're very handy for doing this technique. And uh, next, we'll get into the paints that we actually use to do this. Um, I always use the uh, Tamaya in a small bottle. And uh, these are not cut. These are straight, um, straight paint with the thinner that uh, Tamaya puts in the bottle. But we will add a lot more thinner to it. Uh, the first color that I use for the dusting technique, and um, well, I use five different colors for the dusting technique. Depending on what color the car is, you know, what type of dust or dirt I'm trying to represent, or, you know, whichever color plays the best with uh, what particular color is on the car. So that's kind of a choice of, you know, the individual. But uh, just to give you a rundown of the colors that I normally use for this technique, uh, the first one is going to be XF60, and that is dark yellow. That is actually a German tank color, so uh, I have a bunch of these around. Works real good for a dusting technique. Uh, it's a beige with more of a yellowish tinge in it. Uh, the next one that we're going to look at is the desert yellow, which is uh, XF59, and this is also a armor color. And uh, it's beige with uh, about the same thing. It's got a, a kind of a, I guess, goldish tone to the beige. Uh, next, we have the Flat Earth, which is XF52. Now, this is the darkest one that I use out of all of the five that I picked to do the dusting technique. Um, this I use down... Toward the bottom edge of the car, uh, right behind the wheel wells, along the rocker panels or skirts or whatever. Uh, that kind of gives you the color modulation in your dust technique, and we'll show that on video. Probably be part three when we do that. But uh, I always like to keep this little bit of a darker color just to uh, kind of make you know everything look realistic and the, and the shadows fall the right way on the model. Uh, the one that, or the, actually the two that I use most often... Uh, in the dusting technique is the XF78, and that's wooden deck tan. Uh, this is a nice beige, fairly light. And the one that I use the most is the XF57, which is buff. And this is actually the lightest one out of all of them. And normally this is the one that I go with uh, if I'm putting it on a darker color like red or blue or green or anything like that, black. Uh, I'll go with this lighter color. Uh, so basically, that's about all there is to it. Um, when we come back for the uh, part two and start, uh, we'll start mixing some of this up. I'll show you how to go about doing that. It's very simple, nothing hard about it at all. Uh, and we will be spraying it on this body here, which is a Peugeot rally car. And this was actually a project that uh, was started several years ago. And we got up to the last coat of clear on this, and uh, we had a little bit of a reaction. And not real bad. I could actually throw some more clear on this and wet sand it out and probably take care of the bad spots. But it was one of those projects that, um, you know, going into competition, it just wasn't good enough. 
So uh, this is what we're going to be spraying the dusting technique on. Now, before we go into doing any spraying or anything like that, um, you want a complete model. And when I say a complete model, that means wheels, tires, all of your accessories, lights, glass, everything is in the car and done. Because when you're doing the dusting technique, um, you know, if you think about it like this, if you have a one-to-one -one car and it's perfectly clean, and you drive it down a dirt road, um, that car gets dirty in all areas. Um, it's going to get dirty, you know, in the wheel wells. It's going to get dirty on the wheels and tires. Uh, sometimes even on the glass, it's going to get dust on it. Um, if it's anything like my one-to-one -one Corvette, it loves dust. It can set out in the, in the garage and end up with dust on it. So, uh, but, you know, a car is totally complete when it starts weathering or getting dusty or, you know, a mud technique or anything like that. So you want a totally completed model, everything in it, ready to go on a display board. Um, so this technique is when you are finished. When that model is done, painted, everything is, uh, you know, put together on it and installed, and you are you go, okay, that's a done model. That's when you want to do the dusting technique. So uh, that's about all we've got on uh, part one. So we'll have part two coming up here next. We'll start spraying some uh, paint on this thing, and we'll show you the technique. So stay tuned for that. Like always, I thank you for watching and supporting Showtime Studios, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.